Ashaki. Okay guys, so let me tell you how I fell into the rabbit hole of me talking about him today. Guys, I have a confession. <clears throat> I woke up today and nothing, absolutely nothing was here. It doesn't happen, it never happens, obviously, I'm, I'm smart. <laughs> also, I like to think, nah, I am. <clears throat> so Henry Ford once said something. He said, thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason why so few engage in it. And I'm not saying some people don't uh, think, but you know, the more and more I encounter humans, the more I begin to believe. Uh, so long story short, I couldn't think today. <laughs> so I did a community post telling you controllers to think for me today. And of course, you guys are critical thinkers, uh, right? Right? Well, per the answers I got, you guys are. So the controllers brought about new ideas, which I'll be talking about one by one. But there was this one that immediately caught my attention because you know i didn't really know him well ashake good now we are up to speed in case you don't know my name is ashake aka mr money aka ashax aka money man well at this point nigeria just keeps on creating new artists i wonder how many are still underground Damn. And obviously, I didn't know Ashake until I heard this song. Tell me what you see when you look at me. Yeah, the one with Bernard. And yes, this line was floating around everywhere, everywhere you pass. Snapchat to be precise, TikTok to be unprecise. First of all, why is this pronounced Asha? Ah, if I talk right now, then go see. So who is Ashake? And how is Ashake? First of all, uh, he's doing well, quite well. To me, to an extent, like everybody in my house, my friends, everybody loves me. If I move on the road, everybody loves me. I don't even know if I love me. I don't know. He's a Nigerian artist with uh, red braids who likes to wear glasses uh, sometimes. Come on, guys, what do you expect me to say? Well, I went to his archives and I realized he just began his career. Uh, well, contrary to the rest, maybe he began a long time ago, but maybe he was not out there. You get me? Everybody loves me. Oh, you see how he speaks? He just began. He's in the everybody loves me stage. <laughs> Well, just like every other artist, you need a helping hand to begin life. Some might not admit it, uh, <laughs> yeah, but I still love him, man. <laughs> He's one of my best artists. Before we talk about that, let's talk about this. Why every time, this is the second time I come here, yeah. you never offer me no drink. Don't like, believe you the offer man. me it's chocolates here. and tea and, and like, what, what I'm, you, like you, I'm Bugs Bunny or What time. do you want me to offer you? Things that people that look like me would. <laughs> Confidence, yo. I love people with confidence. You know, talk your shit. You get me? I need a drink. Man. So in terms of the helping hand, Ashake's one was Olamide. Man, Olamide has been blessing lives ever since. I wonder who gave him the helping hand too. From Fireboy to Potabo to now Ashake. Wow, yeah, a lot more. If I do the research. Damn. So yeah, Ashake. He used to be a dancer. But how can I make more money? Because this kind of life that I want to start living, I'm not sure <laughs> dance can give me. Then he switched to music. I've been testing Olamide since 2020. <laughs> yeah, this guy's been begging Olamide for two years. Two years. Baba, please help me. Like you helped a lot of my friends because you know Five Boys were with, was with him. So with Olamide, uh, your spirit and his spirit has to uh, align. For him to sign you. And you all went please. to the same school. Cool, yes, like, Baba, please help me to you. Yeah, bro, go for your shit. A lot of people would have done the same thing in that situation. I, maybe me too. I would have begged, you know, for maybe 30 minutes. But you know who wouldn't beg anyone? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm proud. Come on, man. <laughs> maybe we are the same. So the funniest <laughs> thing is, it never even reply me at all. So I'm sure Olami, they took notice, but they didn't mind him for two years. Wow, that, that's a long ass time. <laughs> and around that time, we were hearing <laughs> the classics. So obviously, he was on Olamide's radar. So after we dropped the song Omokwe, like Yemuli sent the song to him. So fast forward, he released a song called Omokwe. Did I get the name right? Did I, did I get the name right? Olamide heard it and jumped on the track. <laughs> Oh my god, I got the you know that thing. And then <clears throat> So now like this dream they did come true. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I like I started looking for outfits that tell them they would like this one. <laughs> tell them let me wear this outfit. I was gonna see bad though. Fast forward he went to see Olamide. And then the question was asked. How are you Ashake? I said I'm fine. Would you like to join YBN now? Mm. And you know how an upcoming artist will answer that question, right? We like to join YBN. Go and read this contract. Go. Um, uh, get your lawyers, sir. Who the f needs lawyers? Sign me. So yeah, I guess we're up to date now. So about his songs. Man, he's actually talented. One peculiar thing I realized about him is. Hello. Hello. 
He likes to use reverb a lot. When you listen, you feel like there's a crowd, you're in a hall, and there are people singing with you. It's one way in which musicians used to invoke you to make you feel part of the song. And another thing, he likes to display money a lot. Dollars to be precise. Why not Naira? Why not Naira? Ashake, aka Mr. Money. He's also called Mr. Money, so uh, yeah. I'm a happy person and I'm a lifestyle person too at the same time. You get so I think the happiness and the whole lifestyle, they all move together. You know, that's nice. Uh, he's fun to be around, I guess. So Ashake, I mean, he's gonna be on my radar for a while. So, guys, let's talk about this song. Tell me what you see when you look at me. First of all, the song is a vibe. I like the Amal piano vibe inside. Uh, South Africa has taken over the whole Africa for, for now. But the place that really caught my eye in the song was not not the ass. Yo, that side. Tell me what you see when you look at me. Hey, Bernard boy. Hey, see that guy. See, he should just retire, man. Like he has achieved everything. What, what, what more do you want from him? So long story short, <laughs> I wanted to do a remix to the song. And as you guys know already, how we do on this channel. I don't know. There's just something about the song. So yes, I took the most highlighting factors of the song for me. Then I added my own lyrics to it, guys. Um, I didn't really understand what they were saying, but I think they were uh, flexing. So I'm going to write lyrics based on that side. So tell me what you think. And as usual, I'm going to put harmonies in the song. You know how we do it. <laughs> guys, I'm going to try something out of pocket today. Some of you might like it, some of you might not. So in my remix, I'm going to remove the kick. There's going to be absolutely no kick. Well, where you expect the kick to be, there's not going to be kick there. Now that's risky. But what's life without risk? What's life? And so, uh, guys, okay, one last request. Well, with the kind of efforts I put in my videos, uh, I would gladly appreciate if you guys uh, share the videos. Please. Please. And so, controllers, uh, the remix we never asked for. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, that was a good one. Let's go again. Suba, 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 I came all of them, I kiss you one bar. Walk there, check it, we come from far. Wouldn't you care give me my crown? I wear more grandma, tell me you're not a bevel. You see, all of them did not me. Even your serious, they quare me. They quare me, give my hair number if you don't mind. You carry back a letter, 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 Bass, 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 bass,